um, a future that is inspiring and appealing. I mean, I, I just think that there, like, there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Like, why do you want to live? What, what's the point? What, what inspires you? What, what do you love about the future? And if, if we're not out there, if the future does not include being out there among the stars uh, and being a multi-planet species, I find that, in, that it's incredibly depressing if that's not the future that we're going to have. For a while now, the entire scientific community has been engaged in a debate regarding the potential colonization of Mars. While Elon Musk has continuously reiterated his dedication to this possibility, consistently expressing his ambition to establish a human presence on the Red Planet, I'll delve into the SpaceX founder's plans for Martian colonization in this video. Before we proceed, take a moment to like and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive content. Now let's get started. Elon Musk's motivations stemmed not only from his belief that NASA wasn't doing enough to facilitate human missions to Mars, but also from the concern that Earth might eventually become uninhabitable. Hence, he founded SpaceX, the rocket company that's making waves today. Notably, Mars stands out as one of the nearest habitable planets to Earth, despite being approximately 140 million miles away. It receives a decent amount of sunlight and experiences cold temperatures, which humans can mitigate. By compressing the Martian atmosphere, humans can create conditions suitable for plant growth, given that the atmosphere primarily consists of CO2, along with traces of nitrogen, argon, and other elements. Although Martian days are slightly longer than Earth days, lasting about 24 hours and 37 minutes, and the gravity is approximately 38% of that on Earth, studies have shown that humans can adapt and survive on Mars. However, Elon Musk acknowledged in an interview that the initial human settlers on Mars would likely face challenges and might not survive indefinitely. Nevertheless, he believes that they could fulfill their exploration goals and live out their lives on the planet. Achieving a sustainable human presence on Mars requires significant resources. Musk estimates that it would take around 1,000 spaceships and a million tons of supplies, including essential vitamins like vitamin C, to establish a viable colony. Musk envisions that life on Mars can only thrive with the establishment of a self-sustaining city. One major hurdle to Martian colonization is the challenge of resupplying the colony. While NASA has indicated that its missions to Mars will focus on sustaining life on the planet rather than facilitating tourism, the logistics of resupplying Martian settlements remain a pressing concern. Ultimately, the sustainability of life on Mars hinges on careful planning and resource management. Given the differences between Earth and Mars, settlers may encounter difficulties without sufficient supplies to sustain them during their time on the planet. Interestingly, SpaceX aims to launch a Starship atop the Super Heavy booster, colloquially referred to by Musk as the Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR, capable of carrying nearly 13 tons into space. SpaceX boasts ownership of the most potent rocket booster globally, the Falcon Heavy, which necessitates the development of the BFR, capable of eventually carrying several hundred tons to space before reaching its ultimate capacity of 1,000 tons. The BFR is planned to stand 25 stories tall, equipped with approximately 42 powerful Raptor engines, each capable of lifting an entire Boeing 747. In Musk's vision to colonize Mars, the BFR will propel the Starship into space, connecting with a similar booster already positioned to provide support throughout the journey to the Red Planet. The Starship transportation system to Mars is anticipated to witness an average of three launches per day, with each flight carrying a 100-ton payload. With over 1,000 flights per year, each carrying more than 100 tons of cargo, a total of 100,000 tons of cargo will be orbiting, ready for delivery to Mars. 
utilizing 1,000 starships, approximately 100,000 people could be sent from Earth to Mars every 26 months when the orbits are optimally aligned for interplanetary travel. Earth and Mars align closely only once every two years, creating a brief window for expedited passage. While the majority of fuel will be consumed by each ship upon reaching orbit around Earth, several tanker spaceships could launch to refill the carriers with additional fuel needed to reach Mars. As SpaceX employees diligently work on building the Starship system, the Mars landing could potentially occur in late 2022 or 2023. Elon Musk clarified that the human colonization of Mars will not transpire imminently. However, he mentioned that compared to Earth, there will be ample job opportunities on Mars, including direct democracy, where inhabitants will make decisions for themselves with fewer and less complex laws than those on Earth. Regarding food production, it will be cultivated in solar-powered hydroponic farms situated underground or within enclosed structures. Concerning the landing site of the Starship, studies indicate it will be positioned near subsurface water and ice deposits strategically located to receive sufficient sunlight for the solar panels powering the colony. Refueling of the spacecraft will be facilitated using resources available on the planet. SpaceX ships utilize liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel, easily producible on Mars using the Sabatia process. This process utilizes nickel to synthesize methane from atmospheric carbon dioxide, readily extractable from the water ice present on Mars. Generating a significant amount of fuel on Mars will take approximately 26 months, requiring approximately 56,600 square meters of ground-based solar panels, transportable in a single starship, according to SpaceX engineers' calculations. Elon Musk's boring company on Earth, aiming to address transportation challenges, is expected to play a role in Martian colonization by excavating the Martian surface to access subsurface water. Additionally, initial settlements may need to be organized in deep subsurface artificial encampments to shield human colonies from ionizing radiation. Maintaining communication with colonists on Mars is expected to be facilitated by Starlink satellites, enabling connectivity between both planets. Musk may also deploy autonomous vehicles, such as cars or trucks, to execute distant and challenging missions for colonists, including transporting products for refueling on Mars's surface. Musk emphasizes the necessity of loading the first starships with machinery and cargo essential for upcoming missions. These tools are essential for humans to construct sufficient sustainable facilities to generate power, adjust the Martian atmosphere, harvest water, and convert raw resources into oxygen and methane fuel for safe return launches to Earth. The initial two unmanned starships will verify the water resources on the planet and identify intriguing locations. They will also assess potential hazards and establish necessary infrastructure for further explorations, possibly including a launch pad for subsequent crewed spaceships. Assuming the first reconnaissance missions are successful, SpaceX could proceed to send crewed starships to Mars. However, the first starships will primarily serve as habitats for astronauts for further evaluations, potentially simplifying the mission by eliminating the immediate need to construct habitats on the planet. Elon Musk has projected that a Mars base could be established by 2028, despite skepticism from many life support experts regarding the readiness of necessary technologies for sustaining life, let alone establishing a permanent colony. Nonetheless, Elon Musk is known for achieving ambitious goals, and for the Red Planet, he aims to create a backup for humanity in case life on Earth becomes untenable. While Musk previously discussed the idea of nuking Mars, images on SpaceX's website depicting a rusty red planet transitioning into an Earth-like world suggest a theoretical process of terraforming.
Although deliberate climate change is implied, it proposes that Mars could be transformed into a wet and warm world, more conducive to continuous human colonization, provided the carbon dioxide rich ice caps on Mars can be easily melted. NASA, however, doubts the feasibility of long-term terraforming, citing insufficient trapped gases to sustain a comfortable planetary atmosphere. Compared to Earth, Mars has less than 1% of atmospheric density, making it akin to a vacuum cleaner. Currently, SpaceX is constructing its initial fleet of Starship orbital vehicles and conducting tests at a South Texas facility near Earth's core. From this facility in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX has launched numerous test flights of Starship prototypes and is preparing for additional tests in the near future. The colonization of Mars is likely to span several years, but the eventual outcome is expected to justify the patience and effort invested. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, feel free to click on another video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Save Earth Now.